He's often referred to as the home comfort doctor. Now, why would he be called that? Well, the reason is, is because if you wake up in the morning and it's winter outside and your home is cold, you want to make sure your heater is working properly. He'll make sure that happens. And of course, in the summer, if you walk inside and you put your hand up to the vent and it's blowing warm air, he's the doctor you want to call. His name is Mike Solomon. He's from Anthem Heating and Air Conditioning. And again, he is our home comfort doctor. We're going to bring him in today with today's question. Doctor, you are in the house. How are you doing? <laughs> Very good. Thank you, Jess. Well, I understand you're about ready to make a trip across the great Pacific Ocean. What's going on there? Yeah, so um, I'm going with one of our suppliers on a uh, nice vacation. Um, we're going to go with a bunch of other HVAC experts, and uh, they're taking us to the uh, great island of Maui. So mm. looking forward to that. Fantastic. Folks, if you just join us, this is a live program for your homeowners. If you have questions about your heating, air conditioning, and yes, even your plumbing issues, uh, Mike Solomon with Anthem Heating, Air Conditioning, and Plumbing is the source. And today, uh, this is a live show. So if you have questions, just put them in the comment. But we have a question we want to pose to Mike. And uh, before I do, I want to point out just what he's doing here. Did you hear what he said? I'm traveling with other experts. It's almost like if if he truly were a doctor, do you play one on TV, Mike? <laughs> Just that, right now. <laughs> yeah, that he would actually be doing continuing education because as we all know, I don't care what industry you're in, things are changing and probably not any more rapidly in the heating and air conditioning and plumbing. Is that is that pretty accurate? Yeah, uh, there's a lot of changes uh, these last few years and coming years uh, as the government looks at efficiency and uh, equipment changes and, and just so much things going on, refrigerant changes going on right now that, that's going to be coming up. Mike, without taking you down a deep, deep rabbit hole, how much is AI playing into the heating, air conditioning and plumbing aspects of your business? Uh, it's playing in quite a bit. Uh, a lot of it's you know, on the marketing end, obviously. Um, but the equipment itself is really getting smart. Um, mm. They're getting to the point where your just like your air conditioner's thermostat is connected through Wi-Fi and, and you can collect a bunch of data through that. Uh, the next steps that's coming down is your uh, condensers are going to be connected. Your air handlers and furnaces are going to be connected. And we're going to get real-time data um, of what your system's doing on a constant basis. And if there's a problem, uh, red alerts will come up. Our guys will use tablets to diagnose uh, in the future. It sounds, Mike, it sounds like, you know what, we're going to put a, a heart monitor, if you will, on our systems and you can read it anytime. And if you notice, Hey, you know what? There's a, there's an arrhythmia there. We can, we can be ahead of the game. Is that fair to say? That, that's a good statement. I like that analogy. Well, let's dive into today's show. Uh, you know, Mike, right now is kind of that season for us here in the desert where, you know, the overnight temperatures are a little low. We wake up, it's a little crisp in the house. We have to run our heater, but most of the time we're using our air conditioner. And what I want to talk to you about today and get more information. This is a question from uh, some of our viewers that said, Hey, is there something I should be doing year round to keep my heating and air conditioning, specifically my air conditioning, running at tip top shape and most efficient? So with that, I'm going to turn that over to you and I'm going to dive out. And if you have questions or comments, please put them in the section and I will send them over to Mike. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, obviously a maintenance and I'll talk about that uh, is the best way to keep your system running efficient. Um, but uh, let me go over kind of a little bit of the, the facts and history of uh, and where we're going with energy efficiency in the air conditioning uh, and heating uh, areas uh, right now. So air conditioning efficiency, you may have heard the term SEER or EAR. Um, that's how they measure air conditioning efficiency. Uh, it stands for seasonal energy efficiency ratio. And it, it basically measures the amount of cooling capacities or BTUs per hour uh, by the power used to achieve that. Um, the higher the SEER rating, the more efficient your air conditioner system. So you hear SEER 12, SEER 14, SEER 16. Uh, you know, some of these systems go all the way up to like SEER 20 uh, so, and, and beyond. 
Um, but SEER is the efficiency of your system. Um, the rating is given to the condenser of your air conditioner system, but it really has to be paired with the correct uh, the coil and the correct furnace or air handler in order to achieve that, that uh, number. So when you go buy an air conditioner system, the higher the sear, the more you're gonna pay for it, the more efficient it's gonna be, the more money you'll save on electricity. Uh, but you can't just go, oh, I just want this part of the system and I'm gonna get all the savings. It doesn't quite work that way. That really has to be installed correctly with all the correct equipment. Um, California has a minimum set right now of SEER 14, and uh, it, it was actually 14 last year, uh, and it went up. They're still calling it SEER 14, but they're calling it SEER 2, and, and that's a topic for a different discussion, but it's a, a 14 SEER, and the equivalent of a 14, uh, um, of what you would get 10 years ago would be like a SEER 11. OK, so so you can see we've gone, you know, in 10 years, we've gone from basically a SEER 11 to a SEER 14 in efficiency on your air conditioner systems as the minimum allowed in California. And the federal government is, is following in California's footsteps uh, with really pushing efficiency throughout the nation. Uh, the furnace side of it uh, and, and furnaces are gas or propane. So when we talk about a furnace, we're using a fuel source that is either gas or propane uh, to heat your, your, your home. And they measure their efficiency in what's called annual fuel utilization efficiency or AFUE. And older systems, we're talking 20, 30 years ago, were, were like 56 to 70 percent efficient. Uh, today, um, most systems we see out there and most systems that we install are considered 80% systems. They're 80% AFUE uh, efficient. And they use the traditional metal flue pipe, so it's easy to replace an old air conditioner or furnace with a new 80% furnace. Now, you can get higher efficiencies on your furnace, like 90 to 98% efficient, which is really good. Um, the problem is, is that in order to do that, we have to abandon that metal flue pipe and install uh, new um, PVC flue pipes, one to bring fresh air in and one to exhaust the air out. Uh, so there is some construction work, additional construction work that's needed to change from like a uh, 50 or 70 percent or 80 percent furnace up to a 90 to 98 percent furnace. There, the alternative to a furnace is what's called a heat pump. Uh, the heat pumps are, are really great systems. I have them on my house. They're uh, awesome systems. They don't use propane or gas, natural gas, as the heating source. Uh, and it comes with some benefits like we're not burning a, a, a uh, natural gas or, or propane. There's no carbon dioxide, uh, monoxide produced and uh, just they're more efficient. So a heat pump, uh, you'd have to look at it kind of like an air conditioner that runs in reverse. Instead of bringing cold air into your house, we're now bringing heat into your house. Um, so it's an air conditioner that runs in a reverse in, in kind of layman terms. Uh, in California and other areas uh, throughout the nation, they're really pushing these heat pumps. There's really good rebates, incentives on it. Uh, so there's tax rebates from the California and the national government. There's incentives by utility companies to change a furnace out to a heat pump. And there's also taxes and fees in the last uh, couple of years that have been added to furnace systems to increase the, the cost of those systems, making uh, heat pumps and furnaces uh, competitive in price to each other. So, uh, but they're really good systems. And when I talk about efficiency, we're, when we talk about efficiency for heat pumps, we're talking 300 to 400% efficiency is what they can get up to. And, and the reason is, is because they can actually produce more heat for your home than, they, uh, than the energy it takes uh, in electricity to produce that heat. So um, their efficiency is way up there, really good systems. Um, 
customers who change over to heat pumps do have some concerns. Uh, one is, uh, can the heat pump cool my or heat my home when it's really cold outside? Short answer, yes. Heat pumps are, are great. They'll work down into the uh, zero below zero degrees negative temperatures and still heat your house just fine as long as they're installed properly. Uh, electricity, uh, will my electric bill go up? Yes, it's going to go up, but it could be offset by the savings in gas uh, that, that you pay right now and also the efficiency of the system versus your old system. So you're going to have some savings in electricity. And if you have solar or are thinking about solar, uh, you do want to consider heat pump as the alternative to the furnace system when it comes time to change out your uh, your system. Uh, another question, can I have, can I change out my furnace to a heat pump uh, without changing the rest of the HVAC system? And the answer is no. Uh, unfortunately, you have to change your whole system. The heat pump part is actually the condenser outside. So that's your outside box that a lot of people just say, is, oh, it's my air conditioner system. That's a part of it. But that's actually now as part of the heat pump, that's part of your heating system too. And then the inside changes to what's called an air handler. Uh, so, uh, and that'll come with a coil also, but that all has to match so that we can properly, uh, operate that heat pump to, to get it to work so that you heat your home, uh, without using a furnace or, uh, propane or gas. Uh, the, the future of HVAC efficiency, and I talked a little bit about this with Jeff earlier, uh, with the smart systems coming out. Uh, but the future of HVAC efficiency uh, really focuses on the motors and the compressors to make them more efficient. Um, government mandates are increasing the, the sear of, of these uh, systems. And to achieve that, we need to, to focus on the motors now and the compressors to make them more efficient. Uh, they have the variable speed HVAC systems. These things are top of the line systems. They're going to give you the highest efficiency. So their sear level is like 20 plus. And what it is, is basically uh, it uses the minimal amount of electricity to run the, the compressor and the motor uh, in order to keep the your temperature in your house at a comfortable uh, degree of whatever you set. Um, these systems do run for longer periods of time, but use a very minimal amount of electricity uh, during that long run period. And right now, most systems are either right now when you have an air conditioner system, most systems are either on or they're off. It's kind of uh, they, they turn on like a light switch and they're using every bit of electricity that you can uh, to, to operate. And then when it hits temperature, it just shuts off. And then as soon as it gets to a certain degree, it comes back on so that it can keep your house within a range. Um, that's the variable speed systems actually keep your system, your home at a more steady range. So instead of the high where it turns on and then the low where it turns off and high when it turns on, these systems are doing this at a, a, a much more steady range to keep your home uh, comfortable, but they don't shut off. They just ramp up and they ramp down. Um, a great analogy that I love using is a car. So years ago, we used to have the heavy, inefficient gas cars. Those are like your older systems. Now we have fuel efficient cars and even electric cars out there to choose from. So those would be like your new uh, efficient systems, the SEER 14, SEER 16, or your heat pumps. And then uh, your variable speeds uh, would be kind of how you drive that car. So uh, with the current systems that we have in place, most of them, while you're driving a, a fuel efficient car, uh, you only have one speed. You're, it's pedal to the metal from one light to another. And you, even if you're driving that efficient Prius or that uh, um, electric car out there, you're going to use more energy uh, to go from one light to another if you just slam that gas down, drive, and then slam your brakes down to stop what these variable speed things are is they slowly get up to speed and then it's like set and cruise control and you just cruise through each light without stopping and you're you're go 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 but at the right speed 
So um, the only time that you use more or less energy is if you're going up a hill or down a hill, but those variables um, are compensated by just a slight bit more energy use and then slight less energy use as you're cooling down. So um, the same concept goes for these future variable speed HVAC systems. Uh, you set your temperature and let the variable speed system keep you comfortable and maximize your efficiency. Now back to the system that, that you have right now. The best way to keep your system efficient is a maintenance. Uh, I, can't, I can't express enough about the importance of an annual or biannual maintenance to keep your, your system running properly and efficient. So, um, but that's where we're going with ACA efficiency. And, uh, you know, again, we're always available for questions uh, to give you answers, suggestions, and, and lead you in the right direction so that you understand your air conditioning and heating system. You know, Mike, that's great. It really gives us an insight on where the industry is going and what things that, you know, we're not, let's face it, it's almost like we're not aware of our heart actually pumping and doing all the work. That's kind of like my heating and air conditioning system, my heat pump that's installed on my roof. I don't pay attention to it as long as it puts out, you know, hot or cold air, given the, given the time of year. It's nice to kind of look behind the curtain and say, wow, there's a lot of things changing. One thing I, before I let you go, I want to talk about actually just about maintain, maintenance. You, you mentioned on that a little bit. Are, are the manufacturers recommending, you know, like a car, they say, hey, change the oil this, this certain time, put air, this type of air pressure, blah, blah, blah. Are there those type of, uh, you know, suggestions or mandatory type of things that are in place when it comes to, hey, I have a, a heat pump on my roof or out back? Are there some suggestions on how often we should or what we should do to maintain them? Yes, yes. Uh, and the manufacturers, if you look, if you read through the the uh, manual, you will see that there is uh, manufacturer suggestions that uh, you you get a maintenance. I think it's uh, twice a year, or it is twice a year. Uh, in some cases, uh, like commercial applications, we actually do it quarterly, uh, and then obviously changing your filters that is just like low hanging fruit uh change your filters uh at least every three months if you're using those one inch filters the dirtier they are the more uh the, the more clogged your system is going to be which means now your motors are put are working harder to push that same amount of air so your your, your system's set up to push a certain amount of air through it and if you're if you clog it up it's just going to run harder and use more electricity to do that. So change those filters out. Um, we do, we offer for homeowners a twice a year service where we come out uh, in the spring uh, before summer begins, we're going to tune up that system and check out that air conditioner system, make sure everything's clean, uh, that it can, it can get as much air around the, the condenser and everything else and then also uh, efficient. That's gonna improve your efficiency for the season. And we do the same thing in the fall for the uh, furnace or the heating side, if it's a heat pump. We go out, make sure that it's clean again. We wanna make sure that, that your system is, has enough air blowing through it that the motors, compressors, and everything else don't have to work hard. The, the harder it works, the more energy it uses, and the faster it's going to wear out and break. So uh, I, I can't express enough how important a, a real maintenance is. And, and you want to go with a reputable company twice a year. It's not that much money, uh, but it can save you a headache. Um, Jeff, you said earlier, you don't think about your air conditioner system. You set it and really don't think about it until it doesn't cool your house <laughs> and then that's all you can think about yeah. so get a maintenance and and it'll make sure that that you can set it and forget it well i know you have something that's uh you, you're just launching for the month of february so it's kind of a little bit of a sneak peek uh i'm going to put on screen and let you uh, let you talk about it but it's really for for those of us who say you know i just want to set it and forget it and make sure it's taken care of it'll kind of take care of itself almost so would you mind uh, sharing information about this Yes, yeah, so this is a new program that we're running uh, starting soon, and it's the uh, um, the filter program in addition to our maintenance. So what we're going to do is because filters are such an important part of your system, uh, we're going to give you the filters 
uh, to change out so that uh, it, every quarter you can make sure it's changed out. We'll come out and change out the ones in the spring and in the fall. And then we're going to make sure that we leave you with your system or wherever you'd like the filters, the filters needed to change it out in the summertime and in the wintertime. So you're not going six months waiting for us to come back before we change that filter out and we pull it out and the thing looks like it could walk on its own. Uh, it's much better if, uh, you know, uh, at least go in there and change it every three months. And we, we're now going to give you those filters pretty much at our cost to make sure that, that you have that done uh, sitting there. And if you do need help with that, um, I'm sure that we can set up a, a call where we can run out there with a ladder and change that filter out in, uh, you know, the middle of summer, three months after your spring maintenance and same thing with your, the winter time, three months after your fall maintenance. So we can help you out with that. If, if that's something you need in addition to this. Well, you know, Michael, what I love about this is the fact that that you're going to send me a message, whether it's text or or an email, and remind mm -hmm. me based on, hey, when was the last time my filter got changed? That I need to I need to get up there and change that filter, and I don't have to run to you know a hardware store and buy one of those cheapy filters. You're going to provide the the right type of filter for me, and I'm just going to you know put it up there and keep everything running. It's like, hey, I'm changing my oil before I really mm -hmm. need to change it, so that's really good. And then you also talk about. Uh, Priority scheduling. You ha you have a problem a program for that where we kind of we kind of sneak to the front of the line, if you will. If I if I'm in Disneyland, I get that fast pass kind of thing. So, is yes. that is that helpful in case something something comes in between? Yeah, I mean, you can imagine that if your air conditioner system or heater goes out in the uh, out here, it's in the middle of summer. So, um, if your air conditioning uh, fails in the middle of summer. And we get temperatures 115, 120 degree days. Uh, every air conditioner system company out there is just inundated with calls on those days. That's when every air conditioner system breaks and, you know, Murphy's Law, yours goes out. And, you know, with us, because you're part of our maintenance family and maintenance uh, plan, we prioritize your call. So, so you get a front of the line pass. Uh, where we guarantee that we're going to put you at the front of the line, uh, get out to you uh, within uh, 24 hours. Uh, we'll schedule a call, get it out there. You get discounts on parts and service. Uh, there's so many benefits uh, by becoming a maintenance uh, customer with us because you become part of the Anthem family. So that truly is priceless. Uh, on the day that you need us, it's going to be well worth that $199, uh, knowing that you have us coming out as quickly as possible. And then those reminders, Jeff, you're, you're totally right. Those reminders are awesome. Uh, you don't think about it, your air conditioner system. It's out of sight, out of mind. You don't think about those filters until you get that, that uh, reminder from us. It's like the oil light on your car coming on saying, hey, time for an oil change. We're going to give you that time for a uh, filter change reminder for you. Well, you know, again, what I really like about this is that I, I think of now hiring Anthem as my primary care physician only for my heating and air conditioning system. And I'm not out there, oh, somebody sent me something in the mail. I'm going to do a price shopping. No, Anthem knows my system and will take care of me just like my doctor would. I wouldn't change doctors every time I go to the, to, you know, have something go on. I have my primary care physician. So if you're looking for a primary care physician, you can look no further than the doctor who is in the house. That's Mike Solomon at Anthem Air Condition. You can wrap this up for just one ninety nine a year. And all you have to do is call their, their number there at the office is uh, 760-895-2621. And they will get you started on this program. Mike, any last thoughts before we let you go? We know you're, you're uh, about ready to get on a big bird heading <laughs> over to Pacific. Yep. So uh, it's a long flight, but we're looking forward to that. Uh, no, but we're, we're looking forward to, to serving you and uh, building that relationship with you and your air conditioning system. So thank you very Mike, much. Mike, thank you so much. Have a safe trip and we'll see you next week. See you next week.